good grief has definitely helped me heal. I remember some days coming here feeling sad and then coming up feeling like, wow, that was amazing. I feel so much better now. I can just tell everybody here and they'll understand how I feel. Like, like some people at school and I tell them they don't really get anything about it. My husband John died of pulmonary embolism, so it was very sudden. Ugh, the worst thing ever, having to tell your kids that their father has passed away. I like coming to Good Grief because there are other kids there that I can talk to without them acting weird around me, and that makes me feel a lot better. I lost my, my wife, his mom, Trisha, to breast cancer. You know, there's a phrase that people say, you know, sorry for your loss. And for me, it really felt more like, you know, one should say, I'm sorry for you are lost, because that's really how I felt. Good Grief is a place in Morristown and Princeton, New Jersey, where children can come and get the support they need after experiencing the death of a parent or sibling. Statistically, it's one out of seven children will experience the death of a parent before the age of 20. And without good grief, children throughout New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania would not have a place to go to get support to begin their healing, their lifelong grief journey. So good grief is working hard to ensure that no child ever has to grieve alone and has access to support. All of the Good Grief programs are free to our families, and they attend the program every two weeks. Families can stay enrolled for as long as they feel they need the program. On a night of support, our families, they come into our opening circle room, and we pass around a talking stick. I'm Haley, I lost my dad. I'm Heather, I lost my husband. I'm PJ, I lost my wife. And through that experience, they're able to name it out loud and see all the other people in the room who are going through the same thing that they are. So they, they feel in really magnitude that they are not alone. It's essential for grieving kids to meet other grieving kids because in our society, we really struggle with talking openly about death. It makes us uncomfortable. And so grief can be a naturally isolating experience. And when a child comes to good grief and meets other kids, instantly it breaks down barriers. They know they're not alone. There are other people going through it. Everybody goes into a room and they've got their little bag of problems and each helps each other. It's like a boat and all the oars come out and they help each other. And it's so inspirational. By the end of the night, you can just see everybody's taken another little step. And a lot of it comes back to you, know, you see kids playing here and having fun. That's part of what's creating the safe, comfortable environment that is there for them to allow for the expression of grief or some emotion or some feeling. Um, if, if it was some rigid, come here and talk about serious stuff all the time, it wouldn't be comfortable, they wouldn't want to come back. I remember the first, first night, he came up with a smile on his face, you know, for, for kind of the first time in, in quite some time. This is some, some place that you know, he can at least recharge. Many of us talk about wanting to not cry in front of our children, but then eventually we realize that if they don't see us cry, maybe they don't think it's okay for them to cry. And talking with people like a groove who feel the same way I do, we just talk about those sort of coping mechanisms and, you know, share with each other what works for us. Every time I come, I enjoy it, and it's really helped me cope with my feelings as well as keep on with my life and Keep on living. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo. Good grief is a happy place. Sometimes people get the impression that it's very sad, very morose, uh, a lot of tears. It's, it's a very upbeat place where you walk in the door and you feel the, the, the kindness and the love and the compassion. A lot of the kids are just here having fun. They're letting loose. They're being kids. They're being normal kids. And there's nothing wrong with that. One, one of the things that always troubled me as a kid with a loss is that notion of, well, now you're the man of the house. No, I'm eight years old. I should still be a kid. Not having good grief in my life would definitely be very difficult because I do feel like it's a place to sort of come and vent to people who get it.
If, if Good Grief weren't here, it would be a major loss because it has become like part of my family. I really could not imagine not having these people in my, in my life you know, on a regular basis. And it's just become a big part of our lives and a big part of helping us through our, our grief process. Right, pal? And, and whoever dies mm -hmm. still is in your heart. 